What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode, episode number 236 and uh, today guys we have the start of the new season so uh, of course in the last episode we uh, beat Germany in the World Cup final uh, with Spain, that was awesome, that was a really really fun game to play and uh, if you didn't watch that you can go ahead and watch it if you want. You know, the video's on my channel, I'm sure you'll find it. <laughs> I don't know why I say that, because no, no one ever seems to go back and watch the videos if they've missed them, and I can understand why. Who wants to? If you don't want to watch it in the first time, why would you want to watch it the second time? But um, anyway, uh, long story short, today we have the new season, which is fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of business in this episode, and uh, we've been given a budget of £27.5 million and hundred and thirty grand on the wage budget, and uh, our expectations are we have to win every single trophy, but the Champions League final, although they do want us to get to the final of that anyway, so <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's frustrating, but uh, anyway, um, yeah, loads of business, the first piece of business you'd see was this guy, uh, Jose Esparza, um, this is really unfortunate because this guy looked like an absolute monster, there's always one free agent you find that you think is really going to be decent in a few years time, and unfortunately, um, I might as well say it now, we don't get this guy, he goes to another club. Um, the most annoying thing about that is that free agents, you know, especially if they're the first piece of business you try and do, like they are for me, um, they always tend to sign for you, so the fact that some club actually stole this guy under our nose is, uh, well, A, very rare, and B, very frustrating, so, uh, yeah, Esparza looked like the best free agent of the bunch, you know, he's not amazing, he's, he's not going to be like a Chevalier type player we'll sign, but, um, even so, he's, um, or De Rochefonte, I suppose I can say now, but even so, it's frustrating that uh, we weren't able to pick him up because he, uh, he does look like a very good player but uh, uh, Uray I've said uh, Sergio Asenjo not my type of goalkeeper and Uray you know Spain's number two at the World Cup of course we made him Spain's number two uh, we picked the hair over him and they've both got the same rating 91 and he's a bit of an old goalkeeper I suppose he, he's getting on a bit but to, to be honest like how many years are we going to be able to do in career mode anyway so uh, you know who knows this could be our final season for all we know so um I thought why not, well, why not get a 90 rated player in at a flat coming through for the first time and um, yeah uh, there was like I said quite a, a few pieces of business in this so um, make sure your eyes appeal because uh, if you blink you may miss a big transfer because there are lots in this episode and the next one but um, yeah anyway uh, Juventus weren't happy with a deal for uh, Partopilo I think this guy looks very good I think this guy could be a very decent centre back maybe not as good as Manini but I'm predicting high 80s um, and you know possibly a 90 if we're lucky by the time we finish developing him and uh, Uray, uh Mallorca once again uh, said they wanted a bit more money which is what we offered uh, this is the youth player we've got Martin Costa that came out of the academy um, you know the only player we had in the youth academy and he looks pretty decent some decent stats in there wasn't expecting much for a two star uh, scout on both experience and judgment but he's not bad plus five star skills is always nice we'll try and uh, loan him out um, and um, yeah anyway uh, Kedar goes to Real Betis and um, yeah Esparza this guy we just couldn't pick him up we kept offering him contracts but um, unfortunately another club got him I'm not sure actually where he went but um, even so who knows maybe we'll sign him on a regular transfer next season if we get that far and um he does look very good, and he's Spanish, and he's a central midfielder, so that's always nice. But, um, yeah, anyway, uh, we've got a few transfer offers here as well. Uh, these ones were four. Who were they four? Come on. Why, why am I stalling this? There we go. Uh, Guven Canuvini, which is fantastic, because these are backup players, really. They're, they're getting on now. I uh, have no plans for this guy, so he goes for a very low fee, but I've never really used him. And uh, Dortmund offer uh, £6 million for Bruno Avini, which is very good, because that's, um, that's £2.1 more than his uh, valuation. He's a good centre-back, but I don't need him, and he's a bit too slow for me anyway. So those two players go, and uh, Juventus once again say the offer for Partipilo was a little bit low. Uh, kind of annoying because um, you know Polito's now on a downslope. He's gone from an 80 to 79, so now he's going to decrease in stats. Um, so we need a new centre back partner for uh, Quintero, John Hero, Quintero, the giant centre back. So hopefully Partipilo can be that man and they can form a very very solid centre back partnership. And uh, also should say as well, uh, we got two youth academy players, which uh, I forgot to show the stats of. Uh, they were regens for Diego Alves and um, oh god, I can't remember the guy's name. I think it's something like Martin Cost. No, not Martin Costa, that's the youth player we did get. Uh, Thomas something, I think. I, I, I don't know. No, it's not Ruben Thomas. I, I don't know what his name is. But anyway, we've got two youth academy players. And um, 
Yeah, sorry that I forgot to show that. I just completely forgot about it. But um, even so, one's a goalkeeper and one's a CDM. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, we offered a contract to Uray there. And uh, once again, Juventus was saying, no way, man. This is, you know, not good enough part of Pilo. He's like our, our centre-back. Uh, that's our prime and he's going to be amazing in the next few years but I kept offering money because I just have a feeling he's going to grow to a really high rating you know I just I really think he could be a fantastic centre back for us I mean there may be better ones out there that are on the cheap I mean there wouldn't obviously because uh, he's 83 at 22 years old but um, there may be better players out there but uh, I just thought you know our budget isn't amazingly big and uh, you know I don't want to spend all of our money on two players but uh, even so uh, we do spend uh, uh, 14 million pounds which is uh, just over half of the budget we were signed on your uh we give them Sergio Asenjo as well just to clear up the wage budget money and um, yeah that's that's good news for us because I think your is a very good goalkeeper I mean he only played in one game in the World Cup but uh, you know you don't get to 91 by being a bad uh, bad goalkeeper and uh, Adrian looks like he's on his way to athletic Bill Bow. he's just too old and too slow really in terms of physical stats um, you know, he's a good finisher, but other than that, he's just not good enough. So he's gone to a flag bill bow. We'll get a bit more money for that. And um, Partipilo, finally Juventus accept the, uh, I think it was £20 million deal we put in. And we can go ahead and offer the uh, Juventus centre-back a contract, which, of course, he decides to accept because he knows how amazing I am as a manager and realises if he comes to my club in this series, he will win every single trophy going. But um, <laughs> just not the Copa del Rey. But uh, anyway, yeah, uh, Partipilo comes in, which is fantastic, and that's good news for us and then I decided to do this now I have read all of your comments guys I, I try and read as many comments as possible and a hell of a lot of you have been saying you should get the financial takeover so I got the financial takeover um, over the course of the series I've never used it before I've I've just thought you know why do I need to kind of thing you know all of the money I've earned has been you know through through the game no sort of add-ons but um, to be honest I just thought why not you know I mean this is probably going to be our last season if not our second last season and uh, of course it does help with this because like there's there's so many of you that have been saying get Mark Hanno back it's crazy it's been the top rated comment on so many videos loads of you have been saying please get Mark Hanno back sign Mark Hanno and well without the financial takeover this would not be possible you know any kind of transfer dealing just would not be able to be made. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry if there's a few of you out there that didn't want me to use the financial takeover, but I just thought to myself, you know, at the end of the day, this is going to be one of our last seasons, and, you know, we may as well use it and um, see what we can do. But, uh, you know, I don't want to spend all the money on Marcano. Uh, he's an amazing player. He's gone up to 87 now, which is fantastic, but I don't want to spend all the money on him. But uh, this guy, uh, Diaz de Cerillo, um I've just put up the first episode of Career Mode for you guys uh, that has the World Cup, the first World Cup episode. And uh, it seems you guys are loving Trouser Man. So I thought, yeah, you know, striker wise. Um, I, I was never really convinced by William Jose, but he's uh, still worth a lot of money. So maybe we'll offer Newcastle William Jose uh, plus a couple of million for Diaz de Cerillo because he's he's awesome, you know. And that trouser man aspect just gives this series a bit more of a novelty. You know, we haven't had that since uh, Skin in Towns, really. So yeah, um, you know, who knows? Trouser man could be coming in, and that will be fantastic for us because uh, I think he could be a very good striker for us. You know, a lot of pace. Uh, obviously, in the World Cup, he turned up completely. He was our standout player. So. Yeah, who knows? Maybe Trouser Man could be a uh, a new Atletico Madrid legend. But um, anyway, uh, we offer a couple of contracts to some free agents here, um, mainly because it's more uh, depth in the squad. I mean, we started the um, we started the season off with like 29 players uh, out of a possible 42, I think it is. So that's that's nothing really. So uh, try and get a free, uh, um, try and get a few free agents in and uh, see what you can do there. And uh, Sunderland uh, say no to the bid uh, we made for uh, Mark Hanna, which was 20 million plus Isco. Uh, that, that's not really a surprise. That was a bit of an insult bid, really, because that's that's never going to get accepted, really. Isco's a good player, but that in general is like, what, 30, 34 million, and he's already worth 37. Um, you know, I, I was expecting some, I was just hoping that they would come back and say, oh no, this bid isn't good enough, but if you offer this, we'll accept it. But unfortunately, I didn't do that, which meant I, I was just guessing all the way through this, and that's never good because. Um, of course, clubs some uh, sometimes will say, uh, like we like we had with Jack Rodwell at Sunderland. Some clubs will say, you know, piss off sending us emails. We're adding you to our spam folder, and um, yeah, you know, we're not going to do any deals with you anymore. So that's what I was a bit worried about. I was worried that if I kept uh, launching bids that were a bit low, uh, you know. 
Sunderland would say, you know, piss off, we're not selling you Marcano this season, and that would really piss me off, because that would defeat the whole point of financial takeover, but uh, anyway, Trouser Man, uh, yeah, um, uh, Newcastle accept the bid we make of two and a half million plus William Jose, that's great, um, that's great, I, I really hope William Jose can form a good partnership with either Insaya or Jimenez, or even Jack Christie, so yeah, that's... Um, what did I just say? Trouser man, I think so. Yeah, anyway. But anyway, check this out. Uh, Joe Riley. Um, yeah, Stad Rene's uh, come in and say, yeah, we, we'd like to uh, pick him up. I think it's Stad Rene. Um, and yeah, I was like, yeah, do you know what, mate? I haven't for nothing. You know, he's, he's so bad anyway. But uh, no, seriously. Um, yeah, Joe Riley looks like he's on his way. And that's fantastic because, oh, God, Joe Riley, just the worst player on the game. And uh, yeah, Sunderland once again uh, say the bid for Felipe Marcano was not enough. No real surprise, like I say. No real surprise. Uh, very, you know, not well, not that low this time. That's like a uh, forty million pound bid in total. But um, it seems like they weren't a fan of Isco, uh, which is surprising, really, because he's also a CAM and eighty-four rated and uh, really decent anyway. So I would have thought if there's one player they would want uh, to swap in uh, my club, it would be Isco, right? But uh, even so, we decided to offer uh, thirty-six million plus uh, Coke, which is just over forty million in total. So you know, I was thinking maybe that'll be enough because that's that's more than his valuation, right? But uh, we'll have to wait and see. But the transfer offer comes in for Jack Christie. Um, you know, it's Bayern Munich for 11 million. And this guy, you know, this guy's always been really good, no doubt. But uh, to be honest, like, if we get Trouser Man, well, we've got Trouser Man now, I think. But anyway, if we, uh, if we get Trouser Man into the side, we will begin to have, uh, you know, a few good strikers battling for uh, the first choice positions. And, um, you know, I do want Jimenez and Sire, two really good young strikers to develop. And uh, they won't get too many chances if we've got, like, five decent first team strikers but uh, anyway uh, we take on Stoke for the first pre-season friendly and uh, Jack Christie proved exactly why he should be staying with a fantastic goal and uh, that was the only goal of the game so we win by one goal to nil and that is fantastic news for us and as always guys thanks for watching today's video uh, I really hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please leave a like because that's much appreciated and it really helps my channel out and I'll see you for the next video of career mode very soon